Hi, my name is Jay and I'm the author of a book about gentrification, design justice, and the importance of inclusivity in our cities. Some of the themes that I explore in this book are the connection between colonialism and gentrification, the intersection between architecture and human psychology, as well as the intersection between uh, spatial segregation and economics. I was inspired to write this book for a number of reasons. First, I wanted to use my privilege and the role that an engineer has in shaping a city uh, to really make people more conscious about what's going on and uh, the space that we have. The U.S. is seeing a lot of different trends as it relates to social movements, economic movements, and political movements, and these shifts are really interesting to me. And I think uh, this book is a way for me to explore the relationship between things such as city design and architecture to things such as affordable housing, institutionalized racism, spatial segregation, and justice as it relates to our environment and our social atmosphere. For this book, I looked at reports, publications, journal, data, and findings from the U.S. Census Bureau, the Brookings Institute, the National Low Income Housing Coalition, City Lab, and many more. I also spoke with and researched experts from across the country. I spoke with academic scholars such as Dr. Winifred Curran. I also researched the work of Ryan C. Lee and Mabel O. Wilson, two architects who are advocating for the important role that architecture has in our daily lives. I also spoke with authors and journalists such as Pete Saunders and Sarah Williams Goldhagen. One of the coolest stories I share is actually the one that I start the book off with. It's a story of me taking the train in my hometown of Boston. Taking the train, to me, was always one of the coolest, most unfiltered and unabridged ways to see the city. I always noticed how folks interacted with each other, regardless of who they were in the real world and what labels they carried. I always noticed how these interactions often reflected the character of the cities that we were in. And if these people were respectful or personable, or if they were closed off and dismissive. These interactions got me thinking about how these attitudes are translated into our built environment via the architectural styles, the planning, and the different industries we have in a city. It made me think, how can we make cities more equitable for all different types of people. And it made me think, how can we have cities facilitate social and public interactions between each other? These are the basis of the questions that I used to write this book. My hope for this book is to open the conversation about space and design beyond architects, engineers, planners and designers. I think cities are magical places and I think that magic is driven largely by the people that inhabit them. If you live in an urban setting and you think about the space around you, why it looks the way it looks and how that space came to be and how that space will change, you're going to like this book. If you're a fan of history or philosophy, human psychology even, uh, you're going to find parts of this book really interesting. If you're a millennial and you're looking to move or you have moved in the past, I think this book will shed a lot of light on what that actually means for the country as a whole and for cities in general. If you like taking trains and you like thinking about architecture and different spaces and colors, I think you're going to find parts of this book really, really interesting and I hope you enjoy it. My name is Jay Sharma and I'm the author of a book about gentrification, design justice and urban inclusivity.